Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Brittany Jade here and today I thought I would take you guys through another What I Eat Wednesday and I absolutely love making these videos. But today for a special Vlogmas edition, I figured I would show you guys what I eat in a day when I'm trying to get back on track after the holidays. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I definitely find that I indulge a ton over Thanksgiving and just the holidays in general because who doesn't love Desserts, pumpkin pie, pecan pie, apple pie, all of the whip topping, ice cream, candy, chocolate, lots of chocolate, and I indulged in so many of those things. Not even to not even to talk about like all of the carbs and like the potatoes and the yummy goodness that was Thanksgiving dinner. Like I indulged and I overindulged and that threw me off track. And it is now today is so today is Tuesday. Um, so Thanksgiving was last Thursday, so it's been about five days or so and so I really want to like detox my body kind of like Get myself back on track, but I know that I can't go like cold turkey like no sugar no carbs So I'm gonna show you guys like how I just kind of ease myself back into clean eating And I'll take you through all of the yummy things that I'm planning on eating today, and I'm super excited So I hope that you guys enjoy this video if you're new here I hope that you would consider hitting that subscribe button if you're not new here Welcome back, and thanks so much for clicking on today's video now. Let's get on into eating Okay, so breakfast today is just a simple egg scramble. I've just got my mushrooms, I've got some spinach, some red onion, and some green bell pepper. I'm just gonna scramble an egg, fry that in my leftover bacon grease, and voila, you have a very beautiful breakfast, which I topped with cheese, avocado, and I had that with a side of strawberries. And this is really delicious and really filling. All right, so I don't feel right not telling you guys, but I was seriously craving chocolate, like really badly. So I picked up this little guy, but we ain't doing that today. We're not having the candy today. I have vowed to not have any candy today with the exception of my good old Reese's like they're not Reese's peanut butter cups, but they're my little peanut butter cups from Trader Joe's. And I'm saving that treat for after dinner because I know that that is my dangerous time when I like to snack the most and when I really crave something sweet. So I'm going to resist the urge right now. And what I'm going to make instead is a chocolate banana protein shake. So. I'm gonna make that really quickly and it's super easy. I've showed it on my channel so many times. I just use my chocolate Shakeology, a banana. I am gonna throw a half an avocado, a fourth of an avocado in there just because I have it and I need to use it. So extra healthy fats, good for me. I'm gonna throw some oats in there so I stay fuller longer and I'm going to use some almond milk and I'm just gonna blend that up with some ice and bada bing, bada boom, I have a nice chocolatey shake. So that's what I'm gonna have instead. And honestly, like, Altering your diet is so, it doesn't have to be hard, but it is like a mental challenge for sure. Like I definitely have days and nights where I like binge on candy, where I tell my husband, like I've had a rough day, bring me home all the candy. And he literally brings me home like too much candy. But that is my weak spot. And that is what I'm really trying to overcome going into 2020. I'm definitely going to have a lot of fitness related health goals. So drop down below, like what are some of your health goals that you have going into 2020? Like, are you trying to lose 50 pounds? Are you trying to make sure you eat three meals a day? Are you trying to cut out um, excess sugar or carbs? Like, let me know what your goals are for 2020 because I'm really excited to hear what some of your goals are as well as share what mine are. And we're just gonna go into 2020, like our healthy, our healthiest versions of ourselves. Like 2020, I got clear vision for what my year is gonna look like and what my health is gonna look like. So I'm really excited about that. But yeah, I'm gonna stop bubbling and make this smoothie really quickly.
not tall enough. Dang it. If only you could see what you guys are sitting on right now. A box of ornaments and a box of bibs. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy my shake and mm. this stuff is so, so good. Um, I'm actually really loving the Shakeology protein powders. If you guys have any questions about them, go ahead and uh, leave me a comment down in the description box or DM me actually on my Instagram. I'll have that linked on the uh, screen right here and then I'll also have it linked down in the description box. But yeah, DM me and ask about that because I really love this stuff. I think it's really good, um, worth the price. And yeah, no complaints. I love it. It's really nice and flavorful and I don't have to add any cocoa powder to get it this rich chocolatey flavor which I love, it's my favorite anyways. Even when I would get vanilla protein, I would still just add like cacao powder into it. So I'm really loving the chocolate flavor and this is like a nice way for me to kick my sweet tooth in the middle of the day. So the time right now is, uh, it's 12.50 so it's kind of late. So I might just have this as like my lunch and I'll have like a snack later. The baby's sleeping right now so I'm going to try and get some things done around the house and I will catch up with you guys later. Hey guys, so the time right now is like 15 minutes to four and it's clearly a little late and I missed lunch, but I'm gonna have this snack. This is a brand called Too Good and it's got two grams of sugar and it is a yogurt. See, this is the strawberry flavor. Come on, focus, focus, yes. Okay, so let me just... All right, so there's 80 calories, there's three grams of carbs, um, zero fiber, so that's a whole three grams, uh, two grams of sugar, and 12 grams of protein. So I'm going to pair this entire cup with um, maybe like a tablespoon or two of this organic coconut and dark chocolate chip granola, and that is going to be my afternoon snack. Let me talk to you guys for a second. So yeah, if you can't tell, I did totally skip out on lunch today and sometimes I'll do that like when I have a protein smoothie it kind of fills me up I did put the oats in there so that kept me full a little bit longer and I'm planning on having um, a pretty filling dinner so I'm just gonna have another little snack and then dinner is gonna be in like two hours so I'll show you guys what I'm eating then I just want to say like I want to emphasize like this yogurt is so good you guys again this is called the too good yogurt and it's Greek yogurt and I got this at like my local Safeway but you guys it is so thick it's got two grams of sugar but I mean it is bomb like it's really sweet so good if you have a Safeway or if you see this brand anywhere definitely try them out they're so good Hi, back again. Um, just kidding, I'm not done eating because I'm hungry. <laughs> probably from not, just watching Aaron Williams on the TV, um, probably from not eating lunch and like just using that shake. Like I had that shake pretty early. Like I don't exactly remember. I think it was like 11.30 or like noon or something like that. It was pretty early in the day and it's 4.39 right now. So I'm just going to have this lovely plate of food here here let me flip it around for you guys i still have not figured out like mastering how to put you at the proper height on my counter so you can see me and my plate so let me flip you around okay so just a few cucumber slices some ranch and a cheese stick i'm just gonna munch on this really quick i've got to go and get uh, my daughter from school the time right now is like 4 30 so let me eat this and then i'm gonna head out and then when we get back, I will be doing dinner. Okay guys, so to start off this dinner, I am going to boil a large pot of water and this is for the pasta. By the way, I'm making a dish called pepper and steak pasta. I have no idea, I kinda just came up with this on my own, but what you're gonna need for this is some bell peppers. I have red and green bell pepper, some mushrooms, some onion, you're also going to need some cheese, some heavy whipping cream, and then of course you're going to need your protein, which is your steak. 
The reason why I came up with this dish is because I had a bunch of leftover sirloin steak. If you have not caught my other videos, my other vlogs from Vlogmas, I'll have those linked in the cards above as well as in the description box down below so you can see my first Vlogmas included a steak marinade so I still have a bunch of steak leftover so I'm just trying to come up with different ways to use that. So I had this idea of making like this steak pasta and I'm sure that there are recipes out there somewhere. This is just what I did so I just diced up all of my veggies so my onion my green bell pepper my red bell pepper and my mushrooms and I'm just going to saute those over uh, a hot skillet with olive oil and then I'll show you guys the rest <music> To be completely honest, <laughs> garlic is an entire food group for me, so you don't have to use as much garlic as I do. I never measure garlic, and I probably use way too much of it in my recipes, but seriously, I am a garlic lover. So I'm going to start off by sauteing the onions and the garlic. A few of my bell peppers got in there, so I don't really care. Um, but. You just want to saute the onions and the garlic together for a few minutes, get it nice and fragrant, and then you're going to want to add in your peppers after that. And I ended up adding in some ziti pasta along with the colorful rotini just because I needed more pasta. Feel free to use whatever pasta noodles you would like. And yes, I just added in all my peppers here and this is just starting to smell really good. I'm seasoning it with salt and pepper. You can season this with whatever you like, but I use salt, pepper, paprika, and chili powder. I'm making a cheesy sauce so I'm going to add in a little drizzle of red wine vinegar to this and then I'm going to add in the heavy whipping cream to get the base of my sauce started and I don't measure this but I'd say this is probably like a quarter of a cup or two-thirds of a cup I'm not entirely sure just kind of do it ah. you know I do everything by eye so I'm sorry I don't have exact measurements I just kind of eye it out um, but I wanted to add in the heavy whipping cream here to get the sauce going until it's nice and sizzly and then I'm going to add in some cheese and this is just going to thicken it up and I'd also like to add that I do take some of the pasta water and I go ahead and put that in the sauce as well pasta water is really good to add to your sauces because obviously it gives you extra liquid to thin it out but it also has the starch from the pasta which is a thickening agent so it's always kind of a good idea to use pasta sauce like pasta water when you're making your own sauces so I'm just gonna add the mushrooms into my little cheese sauce here and then I'm gonna take out all of my leftover steak if you don't already have steak done and ready to go. This is just some sirloin steak here that I have and I have an entire marinade recipe on how I marinated this and fried it up in my cast iron skillet. I'll have that linked up in the cards for you guys or down below in the description box. Be sure to check that out and you're just going to want to use whatever steak you have or use my steak recipe and marinade. It's bomb. You guys will not regret it. It goes good with pretty much any dish but you're going to want to add your steak into the cheese sauce and then you're also going to want to drain your pasta and go ahead and add that all to one pan and it is delicious you guys absolutely amazing
I wish you guys could smell how delicious this looks. I mean, how delicious this smells. It smells so good and it tastes like, oh gosh, it tastes like a sirloin, like, cheesesteak maybe like a cheesesteak in a pasta dish it is so so yummy so so yeah i am going to eat that that is going to be my dinner tonight and i'm going to side it with a little bit of the leftover asparagus that i have from the night before just because i need to kill that so i'm going to add that in to my bowl and then i'm also going to be drinking with that one of the san pellegrinos but i'm not going to drink it by itself let me show you how i'm going to mix it together so I picked up these San Pellegrinos, the uh, Limonada is my favorite flavor, and I'm going to do like maybe half a can and mix it with the sparkling water from Trader Joe's. This combo together is so good. It tastes exactly like this, but with half the calories, half the sugar, half the carbs, and this is obviously a free item because there's nothing in it, but it doesn't take away from the flavor of this. So it is delicious and such a good option when you're trying to like ease yourself off from sodas because I because I have definitely been indulging in sodas and sugary drinks and things like that so I really want to make sure that I'm cleansing myself and getting myself nice and you know like detox but I'm easing myself into a detox I'm not completely cutting away carbonation because that would be too hard and it would seem like like a restriction and I don't like my diet to feel like a restriction in any way. I really enjoy flexible dieting as long as I can make healthier decisions and healthier eating choices. So yeah, I'm just going to eat this pasta and I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. Oh, let me show you guys what I'm gonna have for dessert. Hello, I cannot forget the dessert. I cannot forget it. If you're, if you're new here, be prepared to have your whole world rocked because I talk about these literally all the time, but they are the Trader Joe's dark chocolate peanut butter cups. These are life. I always either have these after my lunch or after dinner and tonight I decided to have, today I decided to have them after my dinner so I saved this all day just so that I could have three of these babies. Um, there is, I'm not even gonna read, there's a lot of calories and sugar but you know what? flexible dieting. I ate really decent all day because I knew that I was going to save some room for dessert today. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I really hope that you would consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. So thank you guys so much and I'll see y'all in the next one. Vlogmas day three in the bag. Bye.